Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Turn After Dark. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Letitia Dofo. Oh, hold on one second. Alright, sorry guys. If you guys haven't joined the fan, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button in the bar right next to it. That way you don't miss some more energy updates from me. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, please go ahead and follow my website, Letitia Yofo. And if you guys want to read it, go to VixenTarotAfterDark.com. Guess what, guys? All of my readings are 22 bucks. okay? So you guys might want to get in on that, man, okay? All right. And you can shop my merch as well. Okay, Libra, so we're going to talk about you versus them. So we're going to get uh, your uh, how they feel about you with this deck here. And then how you feel about them with our Miss, Mystic Tarot. Our Mystic Beauty deck. All right. Okay, how do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about Libra? And this could be somebody that you're talking to right now, um, or a crush, or somebody that you recently broke up with, or they broke up with you, um, or you guys are together right now, uh, whether you're married, in a relationship, or if you're exclusive. Okay. All right. Perfect amount of cards. If you guys can see those. Okay, cool. All right. So, already off top, guys, uh, we have the Queen of Swords here in the flip. So, pretty much um, what I'm getting from this, Libra, is that they really think of you as... No, like, I don't want to say cold and bitchy, but <laughs> they might think of you as just kind of being a little cold, okay? Um, you know, it's like you're very in your emotions um, about certain things or a thought process, something like that. It's like kind of you're detached. Maybe you're a little bit too judgmental with this person as well. Um, and so it's like there's a fine balance between your feelings and facts. It's really time to regroup, and they really want you to look at the big picture of this relationship here, okay? What I'm getting from this is that, you know, they want some type of transparency and honesty. And I feel like you're doing that, and you're very straightforward, though. So it can be a little bit, like, too cold, though, and you're, you're forgetting to be compassionate and think about the other person's feelings. And so that can be equally damaging, okay? So you might lash out or be very judgmental. Um, you might be a little bit closed-minded as well, okay? It might be a little bit difficult for them to be around you. So, Libra, they might want to not be around you because just everything is just so, like, chop, chop, chop. Like, you're just so rude about everything. Like, that's how you're coming off to them. Um, and it kind of freaks them out just a little bit, okay? They're kind of just like, whoa, Libra. Like, why are you gonna, why are you gonna be all, like, extra, you know? So, um, just adjusting the light here. So, they might find you as very abrasive, like when you're speaking, a little bit difficult to be around, okay? Um, and, and, you know, especially during those tough situations, you might just be very critical. Um, however, it's not like you're talking outside of your neck. It is based off of logic, okay? So, it's not like you're just saying, like, whatever you want. They also see you as somebody uh, with the full card here, very free-spirited. Um, you guys definitely, you know, it's like new beginnings with you okay they feel as if you know you're a very pure type of energy so it's like you're a real raw kind of like I, I th i'm thinking like i'm hearing rough neck like if you're a guy like if you're a woman you're just very like authoritative okay and it's very exciting from them and so you know they're very curious very enthusiastic and it's kind of like they're ready to step in this new journey with you where like the sky's the limit it's kind of like unlimited potential with you it's like where you can really embrace into you know, like a fresh creative endeavors. So it's like, you know, they like living in the moment with you, okay? It's like, you know, they're learning to let go of expectations with you. So it's like one day they think you're gonna be this way and then you might be another way. So 
That definitely could be it as well. Hold on. Alright, and so, um, it's like right now, you know, this time it's really, you know, they're trying to discover themselves within you and they really still want to explore options with you. So right now they're trying to trust their gut uh, with this connection and really listen to their heart and they want you to do the same thing and they also, you know, want you to believe in yourself. I feel as if some of you guys might have some things going on, uh, but once you kind of give in, you know, you let go, it's like the universe is definitely going to support you, especially with the judgment card here. Um, you know, with judgment, it's like this person definitely wants, they want to have something happen, okay? They definitely, it's like, they see you as somebody, like, they see their reflection within you, okay? I feel as if this person sees you as someone to call for help, you know, it's like, you'll be there. It's like, a lot of people flock to you. Um, it's not, you do have, like, this godly type of energy. It's like, you know the way they evaluate you it's like you learn how to prioritize your needs and what you want and get things done it's like you know you've reached really this this i don't know they put you on a pedestal kind of thing in a sense it's like you know how to really assess everything that's going on however you do still have old wounds um but you release those you know it's like i'm gonna let nobody get to me nobody's gonna touch me nobody's gonna do anything and so it's kind of like you definitely um, change this person's aspects of life for the better. It's kind of like, you know, you have this authenticity about you. I'm getting like, you just, you're very, um, you can be harsh, but it's like, it's like that tough love kind of deal. Like you give that tough love. You're not afraid to just like say what's on your mind and just like, this is what it is. Like take it or leave it kind of deal. Um, and so, you know, you make your decisions based off of logic and not emotion. So you could be not having a lot of emotion with this person and they definitely probably want you to have some emotions and it's just not happening, okay? We do also have the Hierarch font card here that came out as well. Um, so what I'm getting from this Libra is that they definitely feel, how do I say it? When the Hierarch font card's out, it's like this person is like feeling like you were very traditional. Um, it's like they want you to be awoken to like how you need to honor your life or or they love how you honor your life. You see how these people are looking up to them? It's like I feel as if you walk around like that. So you could walk with so much confidence and they love that, like the way you speak. Um, whatever, you, like whatever you have on your mind, you just say it. You don't even care. Like it can be somebody down the street at the grocery store, okay? You're just really going to say what's on your mind and... You know, and a lot of people look up to that. It's like that people are drawn to you, okay? You could also be, they see you as like somebody that's a part of something. Like um, maybe you're a part of a group or a community, like where you live. or um, And they love that you have something going for yourself. I think you guys might be, um, it's like maybe whatever you do for work or something like that. So it's like you can be very inspirational in a sense. But you have a lot of strength in numbers. So you can know a lot of people and they see you as like knowing a lot of people. <laughs> Um, and they love how you just kind of shine your light. It's like once you learn something, you'll go ahead and tell somebody else and teach them. And they love that. It's like they're enjoying that journey with you. Like they love that part about you. It's like you're not afraid of like, hey, you don't know how to do that? Okay, let me tell you how to do it. It's like you're prepared for anything. Anybody throws anything your way, you have so much information to give. We do have the Princess of Wands that came in the flip though. This is the only, well, no, this is not the only card that came in the flip. Um... So with the Princess of Wands here, uh, what I'm getting from this is that definitely they see you as, you know, it's definitely a learning experience for them. So I feel as if this is not, you're not their typical suitor, but they wanted to like take time to try and see if this could work. So maybe you guys are dating this person possibly. I'm just getting a sense of dating. I don't feel as if this is something like long term. If it is, it could be to take the story how it resonates. Don't forget energies can be reversed. Um, they feel as if things have not been going according to plan lately. Um, I'm feeling as if, you know, certain attempts they've made just kind of fall into the wayside. It's like they want to try new things and it just kind of doesn't work out the way they think it will work out. Possibly because of the way you react or, you know, it's not the way they want wanted you to react. So, you know, they try and... Like, they try and do what's right, but I feel as if they see you as somebody that's a perfectionist. It's like, no, it's my weird highway. Like, this is how it's done, or this is how I like things done. So if they can't uphold that, then they kind of feel timid, okay? Um, we do also have the Ace of Swords here. So they see you as somebody that's just, like, cut and dry. 
you know, no rose colored glasses. You don't beat around the bush, like none of that. You definitely say what's on your mind. You get things done straight to the point, um, you know, and they kind of like that. It's like, they feel as if maybe they could have a breakthrough with you. This could be, you know, it's like you're in your power and they love that you're in your power. So I'm getting a lot of masculine energy here. It's like you give this person lots of clarity. You just cut straight through the bullshit pretty much. <laughs> It's kind of like you're at your all-time high, okay? Your mind's razor sharp. You know what you want. You know how to get it. It's like after experiencing so many things in your life, so this pro person probably does know so many things that has happened, like you definitely um, have like you walk around with armor. Like ain't nobody finna mess with me, you know what I mean? Like nobody's gonna like get me down or whatever, you know what I mean? So definitely a truth seeker and they love that about you. All right. So let's go ahead, Libra, and see how you feel about this person. for years i'm talking like marriage like you kind of know how this person is you guys you know how you guys are together for so long and then it's just kind of like you know everything just kind of goes to the wayside you just kind of say what you want you know what i mean it's like you've been with someone for so long you just you know you're not trying to impress anyone okay um even if you're not with somebody i feel as if yeah this is like somebody that you're dating and this is how they perceive you um throughout this dating pool. So that's pretty much what I'm getting here for the most part. Either you've been together with someone for a really long time or this is how someone sees you in the dating world. Yeah, okay. Um, so you see this person as very creative, um, you know, but then it's like, they really don't have much to them with the Empress card here in the flip. It's kind of like, it's run its course. It's like, whatever, you know, you feel as if maybe they might be greedy or they want you for something. Um, you know, you feel as if maybe they neglect you, maybe don't, they don't give you enough attention. So yeah, also three of swords here. Yeah. So maybe the person that you're thinking about, Libra, this person broke your heart. Um, or maybe you guys severed ties and you were talking again. So maybe this is why you're so cold to this person because you guys probably broke up and you're probably talking again. That could be a situation you guys separated. Try to make it work where you guys are cordial with one another. Um, and, you know, of course, with pain, it's always followed by healing. So maybe you try to heal from this person. Now they're back in your life. Okay. Would you also have a judgment card here as well? Um, so you do feel as if some of you guys, you know, if you are in a relationship or you're married for the married ones, I feel as if you guys want to, you guys see a rebirth in this person. It's kind of like you guys judged each other in the past for certain actions. And, you know, some of you guys, you know, are reevaluating the relationship and maybe had a spiritual awakening. Um, had some healing, had some time to change a little bit, okay, with the uh, King of Pentacles here. Because you see wealth with this person. You guys are probably in business together or this person has a business of their own. You see them as a leader, you know. You're with them for security. Um, they're very disciplined, very abundant, okay. And they definitely have boundaries. Um, you love that they have boundaries. Um, you know, they could be a little defensive, you know, but you guys persevere through everything that you guys go through. And so you stand your position, you know, it's like this, this person is a challenge to be with and you kind of like, you like that. You don't like someone that's just like, oh, you know, you can just walk all over them kind of energy. You like a challenge, okay? This person that you're dealing with could be a teacher or a public speaker as well, I'm getting. Um, but yeah, there was some old grief here with the five of cups here in the flip and you know, it's like some of you guys may have moved on from this person or another person. So I'm, feeling, I'm getting multiple energies here. It's either multiple energies or either you're married or been with them forever or you're just dating. You dated somebody and now and you're just kind of like, eh. You forgave them and you're kind of just moving on. All right, Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. If this uh, resonated with you, if you guys want to get an extended, go to VixenTarifDark.com. All readings are now 22 bucks. okay? Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.